He was the last of the 10 Red Lions to approach the Marina Bay floating platform in the NDP 2022 jump. But third warrant officer Jeffrey Hanks skidded on the pavement and suffered a hard landing. Here are some preliminary findings by a review committee. As third warrant officer Hing made his final approach, wind conditions suddenly changed. Third warrant officer Hing had assessed that his parachute canopy was unstable, Defence Minister Ng Ng Hans said. And so he executed the parachute landing fall technique according to protocol. This mitigated the impact of his hard landing. As a result, he did not suffer severe injuries or require surgery. Measured surface wind speeds at the Red Lions rehearsals and at NDP were within acceptable range in SAF safety regulations, Dr. Ng says. He says the review committee is consulting external experts on why such an incident happened only now and not before. They are also reviewing in detail the approach route taken by Third Warrant Officer Hay. That's one issue the committee is also examining. The impact of eddy currents caused by the design of the floating platform, the spectator stands and the stage. Now you might be wondering, what is an eddy? An eddy is a whirl or circulation of air that is formed when wind encounters a solid object. Dr. Ng says these findings will be relevant when it comes to designing and building NS Square, which will be a permanent site for future NDPs. One of the changes being considered, increasing the distance between parachutists as they land. This will give them more time to react as they approach the landing zone, Dr. Ng said.